for many of us, it is back to school season. And I think I'm with the majority of people in saying that uh, I am I'm not ready. So today I am initiating my get my shit together mode, which is some things I like to do to kind of slowly ease myself back into student life. Because if I just start school, um, I reject it. My body rejects it like a cat going into water. It's like, you know. So basically I'm just trying to avoid that situation from happening and I figured I'd share the things I do with all of you, um, the things I do to get back into school mode because I'm sure there's many students out there that could hopefully maybe benefit from this kind of video. We're gonna get through it, I promise. We have no choice. Let's begin. Getting on a sleep schedule is one of the first things I always work on. I don't know about you guys, but during the summer months, I don't really tell myself when I'm supposed to go to sleep. I kind of just go to sleep when I'm tired. <laughs> I wake up around the same time, no matter what, but uh, the fact that I go to sleep at random hours means sometimes I'm getting eight hours of sleep and sometimes I'm getting four, which isn't a good habit to get into because during the school year, you're obviously filling your brain with all this information and you need your brain to not be dying of exhaustion. Once again, I failed, but in my defense, I had to get the kitchen cleaned. Maddie was over for dinner, so this was looking chaotic. I could not go to bed without dealing with it, but I will now go to bed. Food is one of those things that I think really stumps students uh, because we don't have any time to cook food, we don't have ideas of what to cook, some of us don't know how to cook, I don't know how to cook well, my skills are quite limited, but food is something we need to sustain ourselves, to stay alive, just shooting you all such new information in this video, oh my goodness. Before you start school, figure out the food situation. <laughs> that means going on to Pinterest to find meal inspiration, easy student meals, student meals on a budget, easy lunches, easy breakfasts, all those things, and kind of get some ideas, print off recipes, and go grocery shopping. As a planner, I always find it easiest to stick to some sort of meal plan if I actually create a meal plan. So I like to do that in my bullet journal, which you guys have seen me do uh, quite a few times on this channel. It helps a lot, especially during midterms and exam season. You get really crazy. It's easy during those times, speaking from experience, to just you know, get a slice of pizza, or a, in my case, black bean burger, or some french fries, or a bagel, or just something quick on the go that I can pick up you know, in between classes or something like that, but if you got that all figured out, not only are you not gonna have to spend money on fast food, but it also means you're gonna be eating quality food items. Your body's gonna feel energized and it's gonna be better equipped to deal with the school year. Good sleep, good food, good combo. As you saw in my back to school supplies haul and my Portugal stationery haul, I use this time of the year as an excuse to buy a lot of stationary things that I probably don't need. But you should use this time to either indulge like me or to actually, you know, get the things you need. So make sure you have notebooks and paper and the pens that you need. I don't recommend buying your textbooks before your first day of classes start because you want to first make sure that you actually enjoy the class that you're in uh, before spending those large amounts of money on textbooks. And you might also have the opportunity to buy those textbooks used at a cheaper price online for a cheaper price. Or you might discover by reading, you know, students past experience with the courses that you're taking that certain textbooks aren't really necessary. So it's worth doing a little digging, but definitely plan a visit to Office Depot, Staples, Walmart, whatever place you like to get your stationary goodies from. I know not everyone is into stationary things like I am. Some people just like black pens or blue pens. <laughs> but I do think it's more fun to use tools that you are excited about using. So if a blue sticky note makes you happier than a yellow sticky note, maybe Maybe get that blue sticky note. Could you not? I bought citrus erasers so that when I make mistakes this year, I'm almost glad about it because I get to use a little citrus wedge, which how can you ever be upset when using a citrus wedge as an eraser? We're in my closet now. And that brings me to my next point, which is go shopping for a few more pieces to add to your wardrobe. You don't have to go crazy, but I think it is nice to get 
you know, a couple new tops or a new pair of jeans, something that just freshens things up and get pieces that actually make you feel good. If that means sweatpants and t-shirts, then there you go. But if you feel amazing in a blazer or cute skirts, get that. Just some pieces to make you feel like a new chapter is starting because a new school year is a new chapter. The last thing that I work on before heading back to school is just getting organized and getting organized means getting my pencil case and my backpack packed and ready to go. Setting up my master binder with tabs with for all my classes and printing out all of my syllabi inserted into my binder so that I know what the situation is for all of my classes and it also means getting my environment organized so for me I focus on my bedroom because that's where I spend all of my time uh, when I'm in my apartment doing homework and just sleeping and Netflixing and the list goes on. Getting your environment to a place where you don't feel stressed when you look at it and you can feel like you can actually be productive in it is, I think, so important. I know when my room is chaotic, my brain starts getting chaotic and things fall apart extremely quickly. So take that weekend, take those few hours to just attack whatever space you need to attack and I think your future self will really appreciate it. This is uh, definitely not something I'm proud of. I've got a lot of piles happening because I've been doing a lot of filming and it's not a good look. That ghost sitting on that pile also looks like it's mocking me. Not a fan. And I've got another pile situation happening with cardboard boxes I need to get rid of. A canvas I've needed to hang for I think a year now. And more bags bags. Actually, this area is looking pretty good. Let's let's get started on this beast. I have an alarming amount of journals right now that I need to find a home for. My address on there? Oh my gosh. You can't have that. Well, look what I found in here. Nails. To hang the canvas, I have yet to, to hang. But I, I have no, there's no excuse. Oh, that was oddly easy. And that about sums up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what is something you do to prep for back to school season. I will see you all very soon with a new video, and until then, bye guys.